What's up everybody, Derek Ting here. All right, so we are continuing with my editing basics tutorials and um, you know, in light of recent events, I'm totally inspired to show you how to import videos from your phone and then bring them into DaVinci Resolve and start editing them. And then afterwards, I'm gonna show you a couple tips on how you can uh, place them up and then output them. Um, but before we start, I hope you'll like and subscribe to the channel. Um, you know, doing these videos is really just my way of, you know, kind of giving back to, you know, all the people that have helped me out. And also, uh, I think there just need to be more voices out there. And video is one of the best ways to reach people. Um, so, all right, well, let's get into it. Let's go. All right, so um, I'm going to first show you how I export pictures and videos to my uh, MacBook Pro. So um, I'm in the Photos app, and um, I'm going to show you that if you select um, certain, let's say, pictures that you want to transfer over, you click this little export button here on the bottom left. It's going to then uh, allow you to choose the airdrop. And then within the airdrop, you press the button and then boom, it starts going. And then here you can see I'm in the airdrop folder, which you click on finder and um, it identifies my iPhone and it's transferring over. Okay, so now that I have um, a couple videos transferred over to my computer, um, in Finder, you're going to select those files that are that you've copied over, and you're going to bring those over into your DaVinci project and add it to a bin. Um, so I'm pretty sure in Windows, you can do this from Windows Explorer. It's taking those files and dragging them in. So once you've brought it in, it's it's fairly simple. Um, okay, so uh, then now I've created a timeline, and um, this is a standard timeline in 1920 by 1080. Um, and let's load up one of these. And so here's one phone video that I shot vertically. It's of uh, one of the, one of the actors, Marika, uh, from Agent Revelation, when I was doing um, some ADR work um, for the post production. And um, yeah, I'm actually working on that video right now on. Uh, ADR and its importance and what that is uh, in filmmaking. Uh, but for this for this video, um, I'm mainly talking about how to import your phone video. So just use this as an example. Um, you know, so you're gonna take that video and you're gonna drag that into your timeline and it'll show up, you know. So um, in the inspector, you can adjust the video. So I'm gonna show you a couple more tricks here. And, um, you know, if you want, you could zoom in and focus on the important parts. But look, I mean, because this is a phone video um, and it was super dark in there, a lot of this is kind of like just very pixely. So, you know, I want to show you this, though, because that's what's going to happen when you try to resize things. Um, but, uh, you know, you can you can zoom in and then and then position how you want the video to look. In broad daylight, a lot of this stuff will be very clear. So let's bring up um, this video right here. Um, this is of Jed. And, um, you know, I had it horizontal. So in this case, this is a lot easier to work with. Um, but you know, maybe for example, I want to um, resize this again and um, reframe a little bit. Now look, when I raise it up a little too high, then it goes into black. So you want to be careful about that. But, um, you know, using my position in XY and the inspector, it's super straightforward on how to do that. So let's move this over a little bit. And, um, you know, that's okay. Maybe I'll zoom in a little bit more. Right. Okay. So um, let's summarize here. Essentially, if you click on the video and uh, you can do some zooming, you can do some repositioning of, you know, whatever the video is um, and uh, make it look like it was shot with a camera 
um, but watch out though when it's dark when you zoom in um, because of the resolution it may you may run into some issues um, and let's bring these together edit as you see fit then go to the delivery tab and you can output the file in the resolution that you choose let's say for example I want to um, output in an Instagram story and as you know that's um, when you have a, a video that's shot vertically um, well what I would do is I would create a new timeline right and I would use custom settings and in my timeline resolution I would do custom and then I would change it to reverse um, the dimensions so instead of this being 1920 it's now 1080 by 1920 so let's create that right and let's load up that that vertical video and now look here's my timeline I'm gonna drag this in here and now I'm editing a video that's good for Instagram story and I'll just do all the same stuff I'll cut it I can manipulate it you know whatever you want to do and then when I go to the delivery area um, then when I output the resolution it's already set for me and so all I need to do is rename it say it's let's call it Instagram story And I'm going to add this to the render queue and I will click on start render so it's that simple um, but I just want to take you through the process remember that these are editing basics tutorials so I'm taking you through the most uh, beginner level way of introducing it and then um, you know I think you can build from here on you know the things that you can do uh, but these are the you know foundational skills in order to um, work with phone videos you know I hope you'll uh, you know like and subscribe and I'll see you next time